And finally, a bombshell fell. December the 7th, when Pearl Harbor, when the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor. And I said, oh my days, this, this will finish my job here, which it did. But uh, naturally we all had to start, start the draft, we all had to start signing up for the draft. See, we got caught with our pants down. We had no planes, we had nothing. We, we didn't have much of an army back then. We were just in terrible shape. It had to be done in a hurry. Well, they ship, we, uh, there's about, I remember there's about 32 or 33 of us left Dahlonega to go to Fort Mac in Atlanta to enter the service there. Of course, there we were interviewed and processed and all that stuff. From there, of course, they send us each one. Of, we didn't all go to the same place. I know I, along with a couple of my buddies, we were sent to, uh, 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 let's see, St. Louis, to Jefferson Barracks. That was the name of the place, Jefferson Barracks in St. Louis. And that's where we had our uh, uh, basic training and, uh, you know, drilling and all that stuff and uh, marching and all. And we stayed there, I don't know how many, we were there, oh, I guess it was about six or eight weeks or ten, something like that. And I remember when the first letter I got from home, after I had written home what we were doing, drilling and all that, they won't know how I liked it. And I said, I wrote in the letter, I said, well, it's okay, but I said, all these fellas that I'm drilling with, they stay out of step. They can't stay in step. And I, and I, and I was the only one that <laughs> stayed in step. <laughs> so I remember just how long and got over there and they said, we don't have any transportation to get you guys. We want to send you to Casablanca, but we have no transportation. So uh, we kept waiting and waiting for transportation. And I thought, I told Jack, I said, it looks like we're going to spend our, our time here. And uh, finally, we heard that they were having the Yalta meeting in Casablanca, Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin. They were having that meeting there. And they sent Air Force One down and picked us up and flew us into Casablanca. So we had the pleasure of riding on Air Force One. It was nothing like the one now, it was much smaller. But anyway, it was a treat for us to know. And we got in there, and I remembered that, uh, oh, they said they're having a lot of entertainment here. Martha Ray and Bob Hope and a lot of the guys here entertain the troops. So we thought, oh, happy day. And you know about 10 or 11 o'clock that night, we had the awfulest air raid. And I remember Jack and I, we jumped into the foxholes. And Jack was one of the, he was one of the best guys I ever known. Well, I know he said, he said, Parks, he said, we'll be okay. He started praying, he's one of the best Christian guys I've ever known. And of course we, we made it. Thank <laughs> you.